Stop, you're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Go! <laughs> you're making me nervous. <laughs> hey guys, Kelly Fab here and Sorry about my hair slash my shirt. <laughs> I'm actually off of work today. And I just really wanted to film because I have empties for you and I know I haven't posted in about a week, but I got back from Florida. I've been cleaning, I've been organizing, I've been going through a ton of stuff in my house, trying to finish up everything for the rest of the spring cleaning. And I got back to work and it was hard to get back into the flow of things, so yeah here i am just wanted to show you my sample empties for the month of february and also just my generalized empties i have my trusty green bin here and i've actually already started on empties for march which is why i wanted to get this one out of the way and show you prices and yeah so without further ado let's get on to this empties video so first I want to share my sample empties from my sample project pan and this is moving my brushes. This is a sample with Stacy on Instagram and I will link her Instagram once again down below as always. You guys can check her out and show her some love. But let's get on to the sample empties for this month. I have quite a few so let's get right into it. I actually was doing a really good job writing things down as I went this summer this summer. Whoa. Writing things down as I went this month and I was really good about like writing down exactly like when I finished it. Not when but like the order in which I finished it. So I thought I'd go in that order as well just to make it easier. The first empty I have is this Curious Perfume sample by Britney Spears and you know I used to love this when I was little. This actually where I found this. I found it in the basement when I was going through some of my stuff that I brought over when I moved here in with my husband. And I was smelling it and I looked at it and it looked fine. So I was like, you know what? I can just use this up. So I used it up. The smell was very adolescent for me, if that's the right word. It was like very floral, fruity, but not in an adult kind of way. So I only wore this at home just to use it up. But I, you know, I'm glad I used it up and I'm glad I'm done with this little sample guy. So I got this out of here. That sample would have cost me $1.55. I'm not going to tell you guys all the costs of those samples. I'm going to just put it down here and make it easier. And I'll do a running total as well. So that way you guys can see kind of where I'm at on the totals. But yeah, that was the first thing that I used up. The next sample empty that I ended up using up is the Hypnos Drama excessive black noir by Lancome and I really loved this sample. I I loved the brush. I liked how wet the formula was. I really just enjoyed this sample so much. I used it last year a little bit in my project pan and then I was like mm, I don't know if I like it too much so I kind of revived it with a couple eye drops from my Refresh eye droppers and I loved it again. The wetter the formula for this one, the better. It doesn't flake off. It doesn't like get crusties. The only time it did was when I was rubbing my eyes and actually like making it rub into crusties if that makes sense. But it was a really wet formula and I even loved the brush style. It has like this little bit of a curve, just the tiniest bit. And that tiniest bit of a curve was perfect to get up into my lashes and really get some volume like down close to my lash line. Love this, would definitely purchase this, but not right now, I have tons of samples and full size mascaras to get through, but this is on my list to repurchase in the future. Kitty. Kitty's here again. I know you guys love seeing my kitty cat, so. He wants to come and visit. So here he is. Mama, say hi. Say hi. He's a good kitty. He's the best. He's going to sit on my lap. Next thing I used up was actually a hair product, and it is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And this, I have to admit, was a very few amount of uses, especially because when I first started using this, I had really long hair, so I needed a lot more. 
but now that I have shorter hair, I didn't need as much. I didn't really get a fair shot at if I liked it or not. It did leave my hair very silky and very smooth for the days that I was using it. I did use it multiple days or multiple showers in a row. I don't shower every day. It's not healthy for my hair at all. I did use it. I did like it. Um, would I repurchase it or would I purchase it in general? Probably. But honestly, when I went from this to my Eva NYC Main Magic, I just, I love that Eva NYC. It works so much better than anything else. So I still haven't found anything better than that. If I get another sample of this, I would absolutely use it and enjoy it. But it wasn't mind blowing, if that makes sense. Another perfume mini sample empty that I ended up using up was the Pink Flower by Pink Sugar. I thought this was very young of a scent at first and then the more I wore it the more I liked it because I started getting compliments on it. So the first person that complimented me was my husband. He was like, what is that perfume? I love that. It smells so good. You know, he would just compliment me out the wall on it. And I'm like, really? Like, this is a very young scent and usually he goes for the more like womanly type scents when I wear them, but he loved this little sample. I did enjoy it more that I got compliments on it. He wasn't the only one that complimented me and people at work and my family complimented me on this scent as well. But yeah, I would definitely buy this actually because I got so many compliments on it. And the more that I heard that other people liked it on me, the more I realized how nicely it was mixing with my body chemistry. Because I did spray it in the room, just in my beauty room as, you know, just a room spray, just a little bit, just to kind of smell it and kind of figure out if I liked it or not. And I didn't like it as much. And then I smelled it with my skin and my, you know, my skin chemistry and it smelled so good. So this is one that I will definitely be purchasing once I have a need for more perfume or if the Sephora VIB sale is coming up or the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, if it's on sale, ah, I gotta stop. Okay, anyways, I would repurchase this. Another hair empty that I have is the Schwarzkopf. Gliss Hair Repair with Liquid Keratin Ultimate Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. This is for heavily damaged hair and it's three times the liquid keratin. I loved these. These were five uses for the shampoo, four uses for the conditioner, and I would totally purchase this. I cannot wait to finish using up all of my shampoo in my shower right now so that I can go and purchase these. They left my hair extremely soft. I didn't have to shower. I mean, I did. I didn't have to though. I didn't have to shower for three, four days if I didn't want to. Like, it was amazing how not oily my hair was. And it was here and I just, it was so nice. The air is so dry, so my hair tends to get very oily in that kind of situation. But this was just magic with my hair. Oh, I miss it, actually. <laughs> I have another sample of the Gliss Hair Repair System, and it's a little bit different. It's in the white bottle, but this black bottle stuff, oh my god, so good. I would recommend this if you have similar hair concerns as me. My hair is somewhat dry, somewhat damaged, somewhat oily at the roots, and not color treated or anything like that. I don't blow dry or straighten or curl it often at all, twice a month maybe. Um, so I'm very, very good with my hair, but it still gets you know the split ends and the damage. But this has been fantastic. I really have enjoyed these a lot. I have a face mask that I used and it's the Kalahari Melon Moisturizing Mask from Leaders and it's supposed to deeply hydrate skin, smooths rough, rough and dry skin, and leaves skin dewy and supple. And it says a coconut biocellulose mask, which I really liked. And I really did enjoy this mask. I didn't read the instructions like normal people probably do, but there's like the mask is sandwiched in between two protective masks. I didn't know that. So <laughs> when I got it out, I was like, oh, there's like three masks in here, like, you know, sandwiched together. So I peeled off the one side and I put on one of like the protective coverings because it had all the, you know, the good stuff on there. 
and it was super moisturizing but it felt really rough on my skin and I was like I don't know if this is supposed to be how it feels so then I took it off after like 10 minutes my skin felt really really nice and then the next night I was reading it like normal people do and I was like oh that's not the part I was supposed to put on my face. So the, not the next night, but the night after. So two nights after, I ended up using it the correct way, even though it already had one of the protective sides gone. And I put it on and I left it on for 20 minutes and it was so moisturizing. My skin felt amazingly soft, super moisturized. I didn't put on any moisturizer after because I wanted to feel how it felt when it sunk into the skin. It didn't leave my skin sticky or tacky at all. It was so smooth on the skin. I even rubbed it down my neck and everything. And it was very cooling. It had a cooling sensation to it, which I appreciated. And I really enjoyed this, so I would definitely recommend this, and I would totally get more of these for sure. So a sample that I have been missing in my face and beauty routine is the Ula Hendrickson Truth Serum, and it is Collagen Boosted with True C Complex. It is a facial serum, and it says to apply evenly to face and neck daily after fully absorbed follow with Ula Hendrickson moisturizer of your choice. I really miss this. I realized that this was breaking me out in the morning, but if I put it on at night before I went to bed, before I put my moisturizer on, it was amazing. It left my skin super soft and super hydrated and my skin looked brighter in the mornings when I was using this. Now that I haven't used it in, I don't know, it's probably been two or three weeks, I've actually really, really missed it. I do have one more sample of this and a full size, so after I use up a few more of my other serums and stuff that I'm trying out and figuring out if I like or not, I'm definitely going back to this. I miss it already. Like I said, it hasn't even been a whole month that it's been gone for and I see a difference and I really want to get into my other sample before summer comes because I really want that bright luminous skin for the summer. So I actually have one of my husband's samples but he used one of my products so I figured I'd put the, that in here anyways. This is from Smith and Van Diver and it is the Aromatherapy Sore Muscle Therapy Spa Bath and it is with eucalyptus, peppermint, and rosemary. And this was supposed to be two baths, but we used it in one because I didn't know that. But it's supposed to combine the benefits of hydrotherapy and aromatherapy with this muscle easing bath treatment formulated with rich mineral, sea salts, and natural essential oils of eucalyptus, peppermint, and rosemary to soothe overworked or stressed muscles. So my husband has been really working hard lately. He's been on the overtime list. He's been working a ton. So he is exhausted and his muscles are sore. His hips are sore. His arms are sore. His body is sore in general. So one of the nights that he was really having a rough night, he asked me to make a bath for him and use something, some kind of bath salts to help him. So I put this in his bath and he didn't say that it was like amazing. He said that the scent was really nice, but you know, he felt relaxed after, but he didn't know if it did anything extra than just a regular bath would do. So, you know, he said that it was nice, but you know, it wasn't the best soothing, you know, Epsom salt type of bath that he would ever have had, if that makes sense. He's had Epsom salt baths before and he's really liked them. And he said this was just okay. So I would use it if I got another sample of it on myself or on him, but I'm probably not gonna purchase any of these. So I actually have two samples from my Florida trip that I just got back from about a week ago. And one of the samples is from Ulta Beauty and it is the Pink Sorbet Moisturizing Body Wash. It was in this little teeny tiny sample and it says it has shea butter, aloe, vitamins A, C, and E in it. And this was only two uses for me unfortunately while I was in Florida. It doesn't have any kind of like lathering experience to it at all. It did smell nice, but I mean... I don't know, I have so many body washes that I've really enjoyed the smell and really enjoyed the lather and the feel on my skin that I don't think I'm gonna pay the price for the full size of this. I know that Ulta does have a lot of good sales, but honestly, I don't really have much to say about this because 
It wasn't super moisturizing because I only got to use it twice and I was in the hot sun the whole time I was in Florida. So I don't really have like a fair judgment on that because I like to judge it off Michigan weather if that makes sense because that's where I live. And you know, it wasn't anything special to me. Would I purchase them if I saw a really good deal for them? Probably. Um, but it wasn't something that I'm rushing out to buy. One thing that I am rushing out to buy, but not really, I'm not going to actually buy it right now, is the Paracomb MD Hydrating Cloud Cream. This was one of the best moisturizers up against the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. That is my favorite, and this one was so similar to it. It really was. It was the same kind of feel, the same lightness, the same moisturizing effect. Even when I felt oily, it didn't feel oily on my skin. It just sunk right in. It doesn't sit on top of the skin like a lot of moisturizers, like thick, heavy moisturizers do. It really finds those dry areas, and it just like, like, just floats right over them and sinks right in. I love it so much. My cat is totally kneading on me right now and it hurts, but that's why you see my arm like grabbing him. But anyways, I really enjoyed this little sample guy. It's done, it's completely empty, which I'm happy about, but I miss it already and I can't wait for a Sephora VIB sale to get this 20% off because I will be doing that. I love this stuff. I have tons of moisturizers that I still need to use up, which is fine, but I can't wait to get this one back in my collection. And I think I'm going to keep this jar. It's like the perfect heavy duty plastic jar for redoing my eyeshadows when I repress them. When you mix them up, this will be perfect for that. So I'm going to keep this little jar. And also with keeping the jar to do that, it'll remind me to purchase this because I loved it. So. That was one of my favorite sample empties of the month. I want to start showing you guys the products that got wasted for one reason or another. Whether it's I didn't like it, it didn't work with my skin, it dried up, it couldn't use it, whatever reason. I want to start showing you guys that just to show you the waste that comes with this kind of lifestyle as well. So the waste that I had this month I'm really sad about because I looked for it to get it to use it and it was dried up. And it is the Platinum Skin Care Platinum Eyes little sample that I got from a friend of mine and it's completely dried up. Do you guys see that? It's supposed to be like a light tan creamy color and it was like the whole bottom of that and now it's like smushed and dried and it's just no good to use. So. Unfortunately, this is my favorite night nighttime eye cream and I have a few others that I need to try out but I've been using a different sample of this for almost three months now, four months actually and I love it so much. I'm going to be sad when it's gone because now I don't have my replacement. Oh man, it's so sad but product does get wasted and that's the unfortunate part of this which is why I'm trying to use all of these products up. So in getting into my other empties for the month of February, the first thing I used up was the Suave Professionals Keratin Infused Color Care Dry Shampoo. I've had this for a really long time. I don't know why I got the Color Care version. I don't think I was looking at that, um, but I didn't love this and I didn't hate it. I don't really use dry shampoo all that often to be completely honest but it was just a regular dry shampoo with the aerosol can. A little bit came out apparently just now, but it did leave a little bit of a white tone in my hair, but I would tend to section my hair off, spray it in, give it like five minutes to just kind of sit there, and then I would flip my hair upside down and rub it really good into my scalp, and then it would pretty much go away. So as long as I didn't spray it like right here on the front of my hair, I was fine. And it did absorb a lot of the oil. So would I repurchase this? Maybe, but I probably wouldn't purchase the color care version. I would just purchase the regular version, but it was okay. The next empty that I have is a conditioner, and it is the Aussie Total Miracle 7-in-1 Conditioner. And... This has been in my shower for a really long time. If something's in my shower for a really long time, it's either something that I use very, very minimally, like my facial washes, 
or something that I just don't like and I don't want to use. But then I end up using it up because I'm like, I'm sick of looking at it in my shower. I just want to use it. And this was one of those products. So this has been in my shower forever. I just am so glad it's gone. It did nothing for my hair. I had to use so much of it to make sure that it actually moisturized my hair and I don't even have that much hair anymore. So this was a disappointing product. I wouldn't repurchase this at all. I do like some of Aussie's skincare line or hair care line, but I'm not going to purchase anything right now from them. So this is an empty that you guys know is one of my holy grail favorite products ever and it is the Burt's Bees Natural Face Essential Soap Bar and Chamomile Deep Cleansing Cream and I love it. <laughs> it is so cleansing and so gentle on the skin. It is a very cream based product but when you rub it in and you let it just soak on your skin with the hot water, not on your skin, but the hot water kind of floating around, it gives your skin like this light tingly sensation, which makes it really feel like it's getting into those pores and just pulling out all the gunk. I've never broken out from this product or any Burt's Bees products to be completely honest, but I love this one so much. I've repurchased it so many times. I actually have two backups. I haven't put one in my shower yet because I'm going to force myself to use up a couple other ones that I need to use up. But this one is always going to be my holy grail. It's always going to be one that I can go back to and I can trust because when my skin starts breaking out and I'm not sure what it's from, I'll just go back to this face wash to kind of clear it all up and make it all come back to normal. So definitely a holy grail repurchased product in my eyes. And if you haven't tried it, you definitely should. It's fantastic. Another holy grail product that I finished up this month was the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I had put it in my, well, Pans of Christmas, I think it was, last year, and this was my first, and then my update, and I don't know why I don't have a finishing line, but it was down here somewhere, and I finished it up finally. I love this guy. I have two of these to use. I hate the scent of it. It smells like really bad hairspray, which I don't like, but it sets my makeup all day. I don't have to worry about anything rubbing off or anything looking weird. I don't have to worry about the weird splattering when you use facial mists that don't spray very well. Holy Grail product, definitely would repurchase, obviously, and I recommend this to everybody that is willing to pay a little bit more for a setting spray. It's definitely worth it. So the rest of the products here I have aren't really makeup related, but I wanted to show you anyways. So I have a Soy Sense by Carrie's Creations in the scent Sugar Cookie, and Carrie is a friend of mine from work. Oh, I love this candle. She's a friend of mine from work and she actually makes these soy scent candles. I will link I will leave her Facebook link down below and she does ship if you guys were, you know, interested in buying any of these, but they are so great. They come in these mason jars which is super economical. You can reuse them too, obviously. But what I ended up doing when I couldn't burn this anymore, I put it in those candle warmers or those, you know, wax warmers and I put it on there and she actually told me to do that. And when I did that, it burned for so much longer. Like it literally burned forever and it smelled so good. The aroma in the room was just amazing. I would burn it in my office here and then I would close the door and then I would come back in when I was ready to film and the whole room would smell so delicious. So she has tons of different scents. She does seasonal scents too. So like I said, I will leave her Facebook link down below, but she is fantastic. It's all natural ingredients. And you know, if there's a scent that is not on her list that you guys want you can always ask her if she can make it and she can usually end up doing it or if you want scents to be combined she can do that as well so she is fantastic and I recommend these candles they are amazing I love them I also have a Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm just the original version empty and <laughs> I dug it out of there and it like came out. Do you guys see that? That's crazy. Anyways, I love these original ones. They are the best ones. The scented ones are okay, but the original ones are just the best. They work the best and they always moisturize my lips. I have tons of these left, so I'm not going to be purchasing them anytime soon. So I did want to share a product with you guys from Viseo. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the Microlife Nutritionals Sleep Micro Mist, and it says dietary supplement, but it's really not. It just helps you sleep at night, and my girlfriend at work 
had me try this as a little sample and I loved it. it. I was telling her how bad it's been that I can't sleep. I can't fall asleep at night. I can't stay asleep when I am. And I wake up in the morning and I just, I can't go back to sleep. Even if I have all day to sleep, I just can't go back. So she gave me these and I had the best night of sleep when I had this. So I would definitely recommend these. I also have this lighter and this is the Scripto. I call them the long necked lighters. I don't know what they're actually called, but that's what I call them because it's got a long neck on it. But this is what I use for lighting my candles. It is all out. Ooh, I got a little light going on it, but it's not gonna stay for long. But these, I love these long neck ones. They work so well. And yeah, I just really enjoy using them for lighting my candles. That way my hand doesn't have to get so close to the candle wick when I'm lighting them because I am known to burn myself and cut myself on things. So my husband buys these for me every Christmas so that I don't burn my hand during the year when I light candles. Just that simple. I also finished up this pack of Tom's Antacid Smoothies in Assorted Fruit. I get the big one here, the 750 count from Costco. And I love these. These really help my heartburn when it's just kind of starting but not super bad. I take one or two of these and it kind of settles it down. I know everybody knows Tums, so I won't go into a big rant about them, but we always have these at our house in my purse and I forget them sometimes and I'm like begging people at work for them. So yeah, there's that. So the very last product I have to show you is my razor. So I've been trying to do more like eco-friendly type purchases and razors are something that have been on my mind for a while. I know you can buy the reloadable like metal razors and I'm thinking about doing those but I have tons of these to use up and there's no point of me throwing them away if I already have them. So I'm not gonna do that. I am going to end up using them up. Sorry if you can hear the boys in the background, they are right outside the door. But yeah, I plan on using these. I really like these. I pretty much use one a month and yeah. And I shaved a lot because I was in Florida in a bathing suit. So obviously there has been more shaving going on. So that was all of my empties for the month of February with my samples and my full size products or other category, miscellaneous category. And the total for all of my empties was $121.72, including all of those samples. So I feel like I did a fantastic job at using products up and really getting use out of some of the products and items in my collection. Also, I've been using up tons of other products and starting in the month of March, as per request, I am gonna start showing you guys some of the sample products that I have been working on because some of them are taking me months to finish and I really want to talk to you guys about my thoughts while I'm using it as opposed to just finishing it and talking about it then. Obviously if I finish something in one use I'm not going to talk about it as I go but I really want to start sharing with you guys the products that I'm using currently so you know if my mind changes on them throughout the month then you guys can really know why and I feel like that's a better way to review a product than just finishing it up and reviewing it then. So I hope this video wasn't too long for you guys. Sorry I combined them together, but you know, the month just kind of got away from me. There's less days in February and going on the vacation, the month just flew by and all of a sudden we're in March and it feels like the middle of March. I know it's still the beginning, but a lot of changes going on in my life right now. So I hope this is okay that I combined them. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> God. Why do you guys have to be so loud out there? Can you make me two girl ham and cheeses? Yes. I asked my husband for a wine refill. This is what he gave me. <laughs> Not like a wine refill, but like a wine refill. He obviously doesn't drink wine. <laughs>